everybody goldie here and we are running it back with bianca belair e s t in peace or est in peace like rest in peace a la zion to take uh but we're gonna run it back because miss bianca has a brand new skill plate made just for her and on the count of three everyone yell acro warrior one two three yeah, he's going to be insane with this. Uh, but whenever you make six or more X-Break gems, increase all of your gem damage by 100% for two turns. Um, yes, we can stack it. And yes, the trap gems and the submission trigger it. So this going to be fun. But I'm going to do two builds with this plate. And then there's another build I want to try with a different plate. Seeing this as this is the run it back, um, I have more things I can use in it because I try to keep the free to play free to play. Uh, we're going to try a couple different things in this. So first build with this plate is going to be finisher double yellow. Uh, finisher is 10 MP and choose uh, about 274,000 damage, choose six X breaks to destroy. Uh, back alley, body drop, yellow one, seven MP, 84,000 damage, choose a three by two to make into traps. If broken by you, make seven random gems into X breaks. If broken by your opponent, deal 500,000 damage. I haven't shown the opponent breaking them yet. I'm not really someone that likes to, you know, wait for my opponent to do stuff so they can die. Um, but hey, if that's your style, then by all means. And then uh, yellow 2, also 7 MP, 84,000 damage makes 6 traps into purple. So it's like you're putting out the traps and you're converting them immediately. Um, you could probably figure out a defensive build using this and the 6 star bleed. That'd be kind of fun. But for now, we're going full offense. Entourage for this. Uh, Kofi for yellow MP. Slick Rick for all gem damage. Santa Hogan for all gem damage. And I'm using Zombie Kane. X-Break gems do 25% more damage. We're going to have 42 of them on the board. Um, so that's going to boost our gem damage a little bit. Full Fury, purple percent. And of course, um, the, the Blade of Braid. So let's see, um, let's see what kind of damage we can start up with here. And I said this in my first preview, but it's like, I'm getting major She-Hulk vibes just because of how frickin' strong Bianca is to begin with. So two by three into traps. And starting with 18,000 on our purples. Do some flippy stuff. There goes the board. We didn't drop into purple to see the clean value, but those are going to do 32,000. Finisher is doing just under 500,000. Choose six to destroy. Let's do that. Whole board's gonna go boom. 1.5 mil and it kept her down. So I'll take it. But if for some reason she kicked out, that would have double stacked on the next turn, done a little bit more damage. Let's go test out another build with this plate. Next build we're going to try is the finisher with double red. Um, so red won the deadliest spear 4 MP, 57,000 damage, make the bottom three rows into X breaks, and red 2, the broken wings slam, 8 MP, 91,000 damage, and choose 6 to make into purple. Um, so swapped out Kofi for Butch for the red MP, leaving everything the same. Max Tour perks, this would be ready to go on turn 1. 
not quite there yet so it's going to be a turn two maybe if i get a red swipe we can double stack the plate so let's see um let's see how that goes ah uh, thank you all right um eighteen thousand. Twenty nine thousand. I don't know if this will count. Why are you loading like this? Hello, I'm not even playing faction boss. Thank you. So I don't know if this will count as six or only three might only count as three. Yeah, so that didn't work to double stack. Boo! Boo! Hey, McFly! There we go. Like, I'm not even in Faction Boss, and I'm getting the Faction Boss glitch. That's amazing. Wonderful. Just wonderful coding. Um... Yeah, let's just throw some purples in there. Because those are 29 and these are 32. Go ahead and hit the finisher. Destroy those. Takes out the entire board. Little bit of recycling afterwards. 1.6 so about on pace with the yellows but it turns slower in our case now there's one more build I want to take a look at in this run it back uh, but it's not going to be using this plate so let's go set that up and discuss last build I want to take a look at is the finisher submission and red two so the finisher that destroys x breaks the sub that puts out random x breaks and then the two's purple um running that with butch slick um Santa hogan and we're gonna do hall of fame waller for minus two on the purple sub just to ensure we get more of the x breaks out on the board and at the beginning of this video, I said that the new plate would work with a submission. I totally lied. It doesn't. I tested it. It don't work. So I guess the coding on some of the plates is proper and some of it isn't. Um, but subs don't work. So I went and got my trusty all heart plate, which is going to boost our purple and green submission damage by 100% for two turns. So, turn two. Ah, yeah, I give her a red match. Good job. Don't take the red match. Good job. Well, we're screwed anyways. Because a wig on pin, we cascaded too much. Let's just do that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And then she can do her thing. Why doesn't she use her moves? I need you to not have your moves charged because I'm gonna get clapped by you. Don't understand you. Anyways. Let's just go ahead and hit the sub. Surely this won't backfire.
Hey, it didn't backfire. What do you know? Uh, so now we're doing 29k. So it's like her plate light. Really just boosting her primary colors. Try to make the board go boom. And it did. With absolutely no cascade. Rip. This definitely isn't working the way I thought it would. But oh well, the more you know and whatnot. But we should be safe to hit the sub now. So let's do this. Throw her out. Try to squeeze out a little more jam damage. And uh, that should do it. And that did it. Um, so that didn't work the way I thought it would, but that's why we do previews and test things out because things can look really good on paper, not so much in practice. Um, so for me, my favorite build without the plate is gonna be her double yellow with the finisher. It all depends on what you have available to you. If you happen to land her plate, GG's. Um, that's gonna make her that much better, but she is available in the showdown scrimmage contest Which means lower recruit point should have the shards pop out every every so often in the showdown events But that is the run it back with the brand new plate Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments other than Acro warrior Who are we thinking this plate could be really good on? Curious to hear what you think. Maybe Tech Rhonda. Do we get a Tech DDP comeback? Let me know in the comments. Thank you again for watching. Take care.